This is a really important video that I'm making because this is a story that is going to get buried by the mainstream media because they do not want this type of story to get out there. This goes against the political narrative of Hollywood and the mainstream media. So that is why this is a really important video and why I'm making it because this needs exposure. So we're going to be jumping right in now. So James Bond girl, Trina Parks on Captain Marvel's Lashana Lynch being 007. I don't really agree with her becoming 007. The first black James Bond girl, Trina Parks, disagreed with the idea that Captain Marvel actress Lashana Lynch should become 007 in the upcoming James Bond film. Parks played Thumper alongside Sean Connery in Diamonds Are Forever. A report broke earlier this month indicating that Captain Marvel actress would take on the role of, of Agent 007 after Daniel Craig's James Bond retires to Jamaica. Parks spoke with the Daily Mail where she was pointed in her disagreement with Lynch taking on the role of Agent 007. She stated, Lashana is a great actress, but I don't really agree with her becoming 007. It's not about her color, a, J a black James Bond, sure, but as a man. So, you know, there is a lot of reports that Idris Elba would be playing James Bond at one point. I personally, I would be kind of excited about that because I love Idris Elba. I think he is a fantastic actor and, and I think that'd be really cool. I wasn't totally against that. I think that that would have been awesome. But let's continue with what Parks has to say here. It's just because Bond, the spy code named 007, was written by Ian Fleming as a man. Miss Bond doesn't have the same ring to it. And I totally agree with that. You can't do the character of James Bond as a female. You just can't. Because James Bond as a character... Uh, encapsulates so much stuff like um, you know about him being like you know kind of a flirty type of person who who's a, a seductive type of man and stuff and he's also like a big strong action hero and all of that type of stuff as well all of that all of that is uh, is part of who James Bond is and you just can't capture that the same way with with a female James Bond. On top of that, I don't think that, that you're going to get as much of an audience attention uh, retention with a female James Bond because I don't know what you I don't know why I'm saying female James Bond because what would that be? Like Jane Bond? I don't know. So I'm just gonna call her Jane Bond. You wouldn't have the same sort of audience retention with a Jane Bond because you know most of the majority of the audience that goes and see James Bond films are men. That's just a a statistical fact. She also noted that James Bond franchise should not allow follow the current Hollywood trends showing women defeating a male adversary. I think that there are a lot of movies already where you have a woman taking center stage defeating men, and I like that, but I don't feel James Bond has to go there. It's been a tremendous franchise since the 60s, and they've always been innovators, not followers. They set a standard that has remained a classic film with a man as Bond. That's how I think it should stay. And I totally agree with her here. I totally agree with what she's saying, except for the whole thing with, like, women defeating men. You know, I don't have women with being the center stage of movies. I don't have a problem with that at all. But I don't like it when they use women to put down men the same way that I don't like when they use men to put down women. I don't think that is cool unless you're trying to portray some sort of asshole type of character and stuff you know so parks would go on to praise the bond franchise and its original producer albert cubby broccoli is that really his name albert broccoli that's hilarious while taking shots at other hollywood production studios in the 70s the bond franchise has gone out of the window with black actors and women of color more than any other eons outlook on life and the world has always been much broader than many of the big studios and Hollywood production executives were looking at women who were sexually attractive to their societal circles. Cubby was one of only few Covey was one of only a few who saw beyond that, and they could see black actresses as character actresses, but then most producers just had this tunnel vision casting of hiring the same looking women. But in England, people were more open to age, ethnicity, and color. Other cultures, too, were included in their stories. People forget Bond married a Japanese woman in You Only Live Twice and then had me as the first black woman in the franchise in 1971. 1971, everyone. 1971 but you won't see hollywood pushing that narrative because that doesn't fit their narrative you know they hollywood is doing this really weird thing now 
where they're trying to ignore and pretend that the great female characters that have come before do not exist. That women have only just now started to actually get somewhere in Hollywood. That is the narrative that Hollywood is trying to push right now, and it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. And it's totally disgraceful to all the amazing female characters that we've had in the past, you know? And it's ridiculous. So now it is commonplace to see ethnicity in all bonds. And there's nothing wrong with that. She did express her interest to return in the Bond franchise as Thumper. I'd love a cameo in a new film to return as Thumper because I wasn't killed. She should be training the next back batch of Spectre female assassins. As for her favorite Bond, it's a no-brainer in Connery for her. I prefer the Bond of my generation. It's only natural. I do like Sean the best as he was the tall, dark, handsome, and raw Bond. So there you go. So... This black female does not agree with the decisions that, that uh, Hollywood is making for making a black female 007. And uh, I totally agree with, with most of what she said here. And uh, I think she she understands the, the importance of keeping James Bond as he is, you know, uh, instead of a Jane Bond. So, anyway, those are just kind of my thoughts about it. That's what uh, Lashana, or uh, what Trina Parks has to say on it. And uh, I think that they're moving in a really, really bad direction for the Bond franchise, if indeed they're going to be making Lashana Lynch eventually as the new James Bond, a.k.a. Jane Bond. So, anyway, you know... Check out Bounding to Comics as well because they do a great job covering these types of stories where you won't see most of the other mainstream media outlets covering these types of stories. So check them out as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about what Trina Parks is saying here. What do you think about the whole Lashana Lynch being the new 007 type of stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support, we appreciate it, you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.